Hey, John Wilson here from HighTicketAffiliateCoach.com and welcome to this video on how to make an affiliate program for your digital product. And in this video, we're going to cover how to do that uh, quickly, easily, and without complicated tech. And in just a moment, I'm gonna show you three odd ways to uh, recruit affiliates to sell your product for you. And while you're there, if you like videos about online business, be sure to subscribe and smash that like button. Now, we're going to be demoing this with a software called Thrivecart. It's an awesome software I've been using in my digital product and coaching business for years. And I love it because you can use it to host your digital course and sell it as well. And it's really easy to use for non-techies. So here we are inside of Thrivecart and we're just going to take our demo digital product here, the membership program, and we're going to edit this one just to demonstrate how we set up the affiliate program. So it's just a case of going to this affiliates tab here and then clicking this checkbox. And then we just have to set up the commissions that we want affiliates to be able to earn. So we can set commission by a percentage, which is the most common obviously, or we can do it by a fixed fee and we can set the level of commission and we can also set whether affiliates are going to get a commission on the recurring payments of this product. So let's say it's a membership site, uh, do we want to give commission on the, the first um, payment only or on all of the payments, okay? So we can make it 100% of the first one and 0% of the recurring commission or we can make it 50% all the way through up to you and we can we also have several options on how to pay our affiliates so we can pay them instantly and the great thing about Thrive, Thrivecart is that we can do that and if there are refunds then Thrivecart will automatically claw back um, the uh, commissions if it's you know if, if they have to be refunded so it can automatically claw those back so I'm not aware of any other platform that can do that and so you can pay them instantly you can withhold a percentage you can instruct it to pay uh, after a number of sales are made after a certain dollar amount is earned on a specific day of the month or after some kind of delay so let's leave it at manually and you know if you want to you can set commissions to be paid after the the refund you know that's often 30 days so after the refund period has expired you can make uh, commissions uh, you know payable after that time so once you've done that you just click save and you can edit this anytime you like by coming back in here and then we click this to to set up the rest of the options now um, allow new signups so this is where you, you're saying uh, do I want to auto approve all of the affiliates or do you want to manually approve affiliate applications or completely disable signups for this or, uh, and this is where uh, you know you can choose which affiliate wins the commission, right? So if it, if it's the the first affiliate to to give the link to the customer or the last affiliate, you know it's all done by cookies, and you can make it a lifetime cookie that's obviously attractive for affiliates, or you can make it last a certain amount of time based on these options here. So. You can require affiliates to connect their pay PayPal account. It's all very configurable. And we can, this is where we set the, the target uh, URL for where the, to, the the affiliate link will go to. So you can have an affiliate go to a sales page. That's obviously most common, but you can also have other options. So if you want the, the, the affiliate link to go to, a, a, let's say a blog post, for example, or um, a video or something like that, then you can put, you can have several different options and you can let the, the affiliate choose uh, in their back end, in their back office, in their control panel, which link they want to send uh, their, their traffic to, okay? And there's a few other configure op configuration options here as well. And once you've, you've done all that, you'll just click save, okay? And then you'll save this okay so now we have uh, an affiliate uh, program set for for this product and the next thing we want to do is we want to be able to uh, create affiliates now we there are a few, couple of options for this 
and we'll go and look at that now. So we want to go to partners at the top here in Thrivecart and you'll see that there are a couple of options here. You can have affiliates and you can have JV partners. JV partners behave slightly differently to affiliates. That's where two people are like collaborating on uh, the creation or launch of a, of a product. It's a little bit different to affiliates, but we'll stick with affiliates for now because that's what this video is about. And if you click on uh, my affiliates here, uh, you'll see I've got a bunch of affiliates um, in here and uh, it's it's not a, a common way that I use to promote my business, but I have uh, I have done a bit of affiliate work in the past. So there's a couple of options here. We can import affiliates by importing uh, an affiliate list, or we can create the affiliates uh, manually here. And this is what we see. We, it really just needs the name, email, and affiliate ID, which needs to be unique across their system. And then on the next screen, you just select the products that you want to enable the affiliate to promote, okay? So you can choose which ones you want. I'm gonna choose this one and then save it. Okay, so my test affiliate has been it's created successfully and the affiliate will receive an email to let them know and to give them access to their dashboard where they can get their links and they can see all their stats and so on. Okay, so the other way we can have affiliates sign up for our product is by letting them sign up themselves. And we can find a link to allow them to do that by locating the product again in our uh, Thrivecart dashboard and then click this get URL button here. And then you'll click the affiliate URLs and this is the affiliate sign up URL. So just copy that and you'll be able to you know email that out to people or put it on your blog, put it on your website and allow affiliates to sign up themselves and when they sign up you'll see them appear under the partners tab under affiliates and it'll appear at the you'll get a pending approval here and you'll be able to approve them or disapprove them depending on what you want to do okay now one last thing i want to mention about the functionality here is something that's really cool now affiliates will often like to offer bonuses with if somebody purchases through their link. So they'll offer a bonus to encourage people to, to purchase through their link as opposed to someone else's link, right? And sometimes it can be a bit of a hassle for affiliates to, to give these bonuses out, okay? So you, they'll have to ask the customer to send them their receipt and then they will email them back with uh, you know access to a, a digital product or, or something. But the cool thing about Thrivecart is that it allows you your affiliates to automate that process. And that cool function is actually enabled by default. So affiliates will be able to just go into their uh, dashboard inside of Thrivecart and configure the automatic delivery of their bonuses. And that, that's a really cool function. Okay, so now I want to cover those three ways to recruit affiliates to sell your digital product, course, or coaching, or whatever it is you're selling. So the first one is make a blog post entitled your niche affiliate program. Okay, so let me show you an example of this. So this is my website in the UK property investing education niche. And this is exactly what I've done here. So I put property investment affiliate program. So that's the keyword there. I put best in front. To be honest, it may be better to have the keyword right at the beginning of the, of the title there. But we've got the the niche name, so property investment in this case, if you're beauty, then put beauty in there, or if you are um, weight loss or something like that, then put it in there. But in this case, property investment affiliate program, and then write a blog post about your affiliate program and the, the, the selling points of your affiliate program and how awesome your products are and why they should sign up. And once this gets indexed in Google, it, it's, these, these things are usually not that competitive keywords and you know mine gets ranked uh, I believe on the on the first page of Google if not the second and I regularly get people signing up for my affiliate program because of this blog post okay so option two is make your customers affiliates and encourage them to promote now there's no there's going to be no better advocate for your products than your customers who know, and love your products, okay? So it's very easy to do as well. There's a little button inside of Thrivecart where on the customer, you can just click a button and it will make them an affiliate and they'll get an email 
and they'll get access to their dashboards. So you can run an email campaign to your to your customers, you know, encouraging them to promote your products. And you know, if they like your product, why wouldn't they promote it and recommend it to their friends if they're going to get a commission as well? And the third uh, method of recruiting affiliates is simply approach bloggers in your niche. Now, the way to do this is just search for. Um, so let's take the the example of property investing. I would I would search property investing blog, and see what comes up, and then go to those blogs. And there's no point in contacting them if they don't have an email list. Or I mean, maybe if if they could uh, advertise on their blog, but it's usually best that they have an email list that they can promote you to. And the way you'll know that is if they have a, a pop up or a way way to sign up for their email list on their website, and you'll just go to their contact page, contact them, just write them a nice email, just saying, uh, you know, I'd like to connect with you and um, just make a proposition to them. Uh, it, you know, you have a product and you'd, you'd like to, you think that their subscribers might enjoy it and you're willing to give them a commission if you, if they promote it to them and you can offer them, uh, you know, a trial copy, you know, a trial access to, to, to make sure your product is good quality and, um, you know, see if you can get them on board that way. I have been, uh, I've been approached in that way with that very blog. And, uh, I was, I was delighted to be approached because in that niche, there's not that many affiliate programs to promote, so I was I was delighted to check out their product and to promote it for them, and it was uh, it's been very profitable for me. So, what do you think of those suggestions for recruiting affiliates? Do you think you use one of them, or do you have something else in mind? So, let me know in the comments below. So, again, I originally got Thrivecart because I needed to set up funnels and sell my digital course quickly, and I didn't have time to mess about with complicated tech stuff. And one of the main things that sealed the deal for me is that was that Thrivecart was an affordable one-time payment and not a monthly charge. And um, for example, you know, their main competitor charges up to $300 per month for similar software. So if you decide to pick up Thrivecart today through my link in the comments below this video, then I'll give you access to a couple of exclusive bonuses for free. And that's going to include, at the very least, my, uh, my own digital course on how to create and launch your own digital course. So thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and turn on that bell for notifications before you go. Bye for now. God bless.